Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride back again with another video. And today I'm setting up my bullet journal for July in my new bullet journal for the second half of the year. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. I'll talk to you about them at the end of the video, but for now, let's jump right in to the cover page. As you probably already saw in the thumbnail, this month's theme is lemons. I've actually done a lemon theme once before, many years ago. So if you really want to see how much improvement can come with regular practice of your art, you can go check out that old video and see how my skills have changed over the years just from creating every single day. I've recreated a couple old themes just so that I have a chance to tackle them from a different perspective with improved skills, with new tools in my tool belt, so this is no exception. It's really cool to tackle the same subject matter, the same theme after a few more years of experience when it comes to technique and understanding of my materials, even just my ability to imagine what a spread could look like and be more creative in how I lay things out, I think has come a really long way over the years. So I'm excited to try something new here. I'm using my Windsor Newton paints as always. And as always, I'll link all the supplies I'm using in the description box. As you can tell from my palette, I am focusing on green and yellow for my lemons with a blue accent. And as always, I am also going to be using white gouache. I love to use white in any painting for highlights, but also to mix with whatever colors I'm using so that I can get some variation just to add more detail. So I'm starting with a flat painting, green and yellow, just getting the shape of my lemons laid out here. And once I have all the basics in, I'll be able to add more detail. You could stop here if you wanted and just have these simple bold shapes, or you could do what I'm planning on doing, which is adding adding a little bit more detail so that the leaves and the lemons have some more depth to them, look a little more three-dimensional and a little more real, even though I'm not going for total realism here, I do want them to look a little less cartoony or abstract. Going around the edges, adding extra lemons and leaves to fill the blank spaces so that everything feels filled in and evenly spread out. Once the first layer was dry, I mixed my yellow and my green with a little bit of white so that I could add highlights to the lemons and to the leaves. I decided that my light source would be coming from above, so I tried to add that lightness along the curve of the lemons on the top edge. And same thing with the leaves, I tried to add a highlight to the top portion of the leaves following the shape of the leaves. I wasn't too precious about this, especially on the leaves, because we'll be adding more details on top of this. This is just to add a little bit more dimension, but it's not the final result, so you don't have to worry too much about being really careful here. 
Next, I'm mixing my indigo watercolor with a little bit of zinc white gouache and using this to fill in the background. I really wanted my cover page to be bold, to jump off the page, and I thought it would be really cool to create a scene as if you're standing under a lemon tree looking up at the sky at night. So you see the dark blue sky, all the stars through the lemons and the leaves. I'm mixing my green with a little bit of my dark blue to create a darker shade of green to add a little bit more detail, some veining through the leaves. I also grabbed a darker orangey brown to mix with my yellow to add shadows to my lemons. I'm also adding a brighter highlight to each lemon along the curve to really make them look three-dimensional and adding some darker and lighter dots on the opposite side of the lemon to that main highlight to give a hint of that bumpy lemon texture. Now you probably noticed that I didn't paint the blue background all the way to the edge and that's because I was planning on doing a little cutaway here so I only painted to where I planned on cutting this page. Once I got that first little peekaboo window cut out, I'm gonna go along and just cut out all my tabs for my weeklies as I always like to do, alternating between a page with a tab and a page with no tab to accommodate for my faux Dutch door rolling weeklies. While I continue to cut these out, I wanna share some lemon facts with you all. Even though lemons are heavily associated with Florida and Southern Europe, lemons actually first came from North Burma, Northeast Asia, and China. Lemon trees produce a surprising quantity of lemons. A large lemon tree in a commercial orchard can produce 500 to 600 pounds of lemons in a single year. This is thousands of lemons from a single tree in a year, which is absolutely wild. Not only do lemon trees produce a ridiculous number of lemons a year, but they also live for a very long time. The average life expectancy of a lemon tree is around 50 years, but if you take really good care of them, they can live up to 100 years, which could be over 270,000 lemons from a single tree in its lifetime. The two American states of California and Arizona produce 95% of the entire lemon crop for the entire world which is extra wild when you consider the fact that lemons didn't even originate on that continent. Getting back to what I'm doing here in my bullet journal, I flipped over to the next spread, which is going to be my calendar spread. And I wanted to create essentially the opposite of the cover page, still having some branches with these lemons on the lemon tree, but with a white background instead of the blue background. I'm also creating a really simple calendar here in the center, and I'm painting my lemons and my branches and leaves the same way I did on the cover page, starting with the basic shapes and then slowly adding more detail, highlights, shadows, and a little bit of texture. Lemons also have antibacterial properties, which make lemons a great choice for when you're feeling under the weather. I'm also painting my tabs as I like to do. And for these tabs, I wanted to do a gradient from a really light lemony yellow all the way down to a dark orangey yellow. Getting started with my first weekly spread here, I'm folding the center page to create that faux Dutch door. If you wanna learn more about this weekly that I use, the rolling weekly, I'll link the video where I go into details. So you can check that out, learn how to use it, how to set it up but I'm just adding a little bit of lemony goodness to this spread along the top and adding really simple rounded corner rectangles for each day of the week, as well as my weekly task list. You can also use lemon juice to lighten your hair. Does anyone remember Sun In? <laughs> I thought it'd be really cute to have a slice of lemon at the top of each day to put the date on, so that's what I decided to do here.
Lemons also help to prevent other fruits from going bad. If you massage a fruit in lemon juice, they'll last longer without turning brown and going moldy than if you hadn't doused them in lemon juice. I'm gonna have to try that one. And just continuing to paint my tabs, slowly getting darker and darker with each tab. If you enjoyed today's lemon facts, leave a yellow emoji in the comments down below. Finally, working on this last spread here, I wanted to do a quote and I had a couple quotes assembled that were a little less obvious than the one I ended up choosing, but I just couldn't help myself. I almost picked this quote ironically because I kind of find this quote irritating. I th <laughs> it has a little bit of a toxic positivity vibe, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sometimes when life gives you lemons, you just can't make lemonade. You know, sometimes they're not actually lemons, they're rocks. And you know, you can't make lemonade out of a rock. You know what I mean? Anyway, I wanted to use a different quote, but I just couldn't help myself. It just felt wrong somehow to not use this quote. It's the most well-known quote to do with lemons to exist in the entire world. I don't know that for a fact, but I feel pretty certain. You can fact check me in the comments <laughs> if I'm wrong, but I ended up deciding to just go for it, to just accept the cheesiness, just live in the full glory of this overused saying. So I wanted to kind of mirror my cover page to my calendar opposition of the dark background to the light background. So on the left, I'm gonna have a dark blue background and half a lemon that's dripping out lemon juice with the first half of the quote, when life gives you lemons. And then on the opposite side, just using the white background of the page, the second half of the quote or saying, make lemonade, and then just a little mason jar with some lemonade inside with a slice of lemon on the edge. I feel like this is extra ironic and maybe just this whole theme in general because I'm not a big lemon fan taste of lemons, not really my thing. And if I could never drink lemonade again for the rest of my life, I would be totally content. <laughs> this is definitely more for the summery aesthetic than it is something that I feel personally attached to in any way whatsoever. <laughs> Adding some final details here and then we are done. Before I show you the final flip through though, I do want to talk to you quickly about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. As all of you know, I am a huge fan of Skillshare and I've been taking classes through Skillshare for years. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. If you wanna learn new skills, this is your chance to invest in yourself and your personal growth. If you clicked that link to see my original lemon theme and you're wondering how on earth I got from that <laughs> level of skill to my current level of skill, the answer is practice, consistency, and taking classes on Skillshare. From photography and illustration to graphic design and fine art, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. I've taken almost every single class on Skillshare that has to do with watercolor or gouache painting. Learning from other people's experiences can really help to supercharge our progress when it comes to getting used to any particular medium. The class I'm taking right now is Gouache Florals, Explore Shape, Color, and Creative Composition by Peggy Dean. I think it's great no matter how long you've been using a particular medium to kind of refresh your skills. And I love learning from different artists who use paint in different ways. 
I'm really enjoying this class so far and I feel like it was really helping me to get some new ideas for how I could approach painting these lemons in a way that maybe I wouldn't have thought of before. Skillshare is ad-free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. New premium classes launch each week so there's always something new to discover. Also, the entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description or my code PLANTBASEDBRIDE will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now let's look at the flip through of all my lemony spreads. I really love the contrast between the cover page and the monthly calendar that flip from night to day. I love how bright and summery and airy these spreads feel. Super fun and fresh. It almost has me convinced that I want to have a glass of lemonade, but I know that I, I really don't. <laughs> if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my patrons for your support. Y'all are the absolute best. If you want to get some printables for this month's setup, be sure to join the squad over on Patreon. And with that, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you really soon in my next one. Bye, friends.